Yes, Bishop Silver Massive in the house, how you doing? Yeah. You know them motherfuckers. Uh, it's a bit much in it to start with. Um, how you doing, Westlife? Oh, there's only three of you. Like the real Westlife. Oh, um, right, I'm a, so I'm a neurotic person, I'm a neurotic man. Um, what this means is, does anyone know what neuroticism is? Anyone want to give me a. Someone shout it out rather than just nodding? Like, kind of being very precise about everything and getting worked out. Not really. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's more, it's more, I worry about everything. Uh, bouts of panic for no reason. Um, susceptible to guilt and paranoia. Those kind of things. Um, essentially, so the best way to describe it is, you know when you lose your wallet, and you do that little wallet pat, don't you? So you go, oh, there it is, there it is, yeah. It's all right like that. But you never find the fucking wallet. Right? So you just, oh, 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 oh. But you've got to go to work. So you wake up in a panic, but you've got to go to work because no one gives a shit about your problems. So you just go to work and you're like, oh, 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 oh. just get an email, great, yeah. Oh, 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 oh I love a cup of tea, thanks. Yeah. Oh, 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 I'm going out tonight, great. Oh, 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 how you doing, yeah. It's like that, it's like Rolf Harris molesting himself. Oh, 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 oh. So yeah, but I said, it's a nervous disposition, but I get it from my mum, because she's very much the same as me, but she's, she's weirder, she's more nuts, she does crazy things like, um, since the 80s we've had a microwave, and every time she's used it, she leaves the door open to let it cool down. That's what I like, Lasers and science and stuff like that. <laughs> uh, she washes and dries up rubbish before she puts it in the weedy bin in case it attracts animals. Like, she, she lives in North London, not Nebraska. For some reason she thinks that there's an angry bear's den next door. That she's going to come down and open the door and there's just going to be moose going through the bins and raccoons running around with baked bean cans. Never happened, but it doesn't stop her. It doesn't stop her. She calls um, <coughs> things the wrong name. So Banksy, the graffiti artist. Yeah, that's Banksy. Banksy. <laughs> uh, you've been framed. Right? How long's that been going for? 20, 25 years yet? Yeah. Have you been framed yet? <laughs> <laughs> Turns a, uh, uh, just a statement into a kind of almost threat, isn't it? Have you been framed yet? When's it coming? <laughs> yes, so I'm not looking at my hands for any other reason than uh, I'm taking a break. Um, she's made some bad decisions. She's a, she's a lovely mother, she's a great mother, but a lot of my family was dominated by my father's drinking. So a lot of family decisions were dominated by uh, his need for alcohol. So I saw a thing on the internet the other day which said, you can't bring your children up the way your parents brought you up because the world has changed. And I thought, if I brought my children up the way my parents brought me up, I'd stick them outside a puff for four hours in a full cortina. That was my fucking <laughs> that was my, I spent more time in pub car parks than a local weed dealer. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we used to call uh, the Green Man Pub in Barnet, yeah, the playground. I mean, it's like, <laughs> I'll be wild away the days with some great car games. You've got um, blink wipers. That's when you blink to the wipers. <laughs> Burn tongue, that's when you get the cigarette lighter. See if you can put any tongue for long. <laughs> Good times, really good times. <laughs> but my mum, she's, um, she's, she was a model, she's a very attractive woman. Ah, sounds a bit weird talking about my mum, but I'm just saying she is. Obviously, I know what you're thinking. Jeans didn't pull through. I agree. If you're society, right? If you are a good looking, society treats you better. You can be quirky, you can be weird. When you look like this, you're just a bit weird, right? You're just a bit weird. I, I don't mind talking about how I look like. I know why I am. I'm strong six and a half, right? Strong six and a half. <laughs> Down to a five and a half when I shave. <laughs> it's depressing when you realise your face looks better covered up. <laughs> um, nature has given me a bit of the old skinny fat body. Yeah. Every girlfriend I've ever had has said something along the lines of, you don't need to work out much. <laughs> and, uh, and this haircut, this haircut annoys everybody. It's a lot of, it makes people angry just on the spot of it. The other day, I said the other day, about a month ago, someone in the street called me Dickhead Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Which is a bit of a shame, because I'm not that much of a dickhead. <laughs> the, uh, but that's a lot of it. So, I mean, but I'm a, because I am a warrior, I have a son now, right? And it should be an amazing, the best day of my life was when he was born. And that doesn't stop your mind from turning against you. So the moment he was born, he came out perfect, right? But it didn't stop me worrying about his dick, did it? Because he could, now look, he, it's fine, right? He got a bone in the other day, it was fucking fantastic. I was super proud. He's two years old, I wanted to take a photo of it, realise probably it was a bit so probably. But he's my son, right? It was good though, it's good for you to see it. Um, uh, 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 but essentially, uh, I worried, I worried about his dick because it's like, if it grows up weird or wrong, people are going to blame me for bad genetics, aren't they? 
they're going to come to me. His penis is my penis's representative out there. <laughs> one more thing to worry about. Still, I've got a son, so I worry about his penis. I've got one more penis to worry about. But if I had a door, I'd have everyone else's penis to worry about. <laughs> That's all right. So I've been Jamie Jackson. I'm getting flagged off stage. Thank you very much. Yeah. Yeah.